quantity of barbiturates which are not readily available to members of the public. Secondly, the administration of the injection requires medical knowledge and a high degree quantity of barbiturates which are not readily available to members of the public. Secondly, the administration of the injection requires medical knowledge and a high quantity of barbiturates which are not readily available to members of the public. Secondly, the administration of the injection requires medical knowledge quantity of barbiturates which are not readily available to members of the public. Secondly, the administration of the injection requires medical knowledge and a high degree of skill by somebody with specific horse veterinary experience. For this reason and the general circumstances, we believe it is very possible that this second horse death has been orchestrated deliberately by a central authority to discredit this film, which they would have known we were making. Please note, if this is the case, it will have been done behind the backs of the police investigating these cases, making the police piggy in the middle and probably perplexed as to what is really going on here. A few days after hearing about this second horse, we were informed of a third horse death in a nearby forest. This time, mutilation injuries were present. The scene was described as being covered in blood. We believe this third death could also be another attempt by government agencies to discredit the evidence we have uncovered about the first case. The fact we have still not had sight of the post-mortem report backs up our suspicion that higher authorities have attempted to discredit this compelling case of animal mutilation, one of many that are not being reported correctly by the British mainstream media. It is time our government agencies started respecting freedom of information by opening up their files and revealing information they themselves have undoubtedly discovered about the real cause of this incredible